Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to White Gaming. How are you all doing? We are back again today with some more Generation Zero. And what we are doing is uh, carrying on with some main missions. Uh, we need to find Elsa wherever she is gone. And what we're going to do is crack on, get a, a couple of these done, and then we're going to move on to the Phoenix Rising DLC. Obviously that won't be in today's video. Hopefully within the next few days we'll be on that though. Uh, where is Elsa then? Hello, Elsa! Where are you? She is... Uh, she might be in that back room. Let's go find her, see if she's that way. No, she's not. Is she in the party room? Party! Aha, is she in here? No, she's not in here. What about the other room? It looks like she's out the back, but I don't think she is. Maybe she's down, downstairs somewhere. I can't find this woman. Where is she? Older sister. Younger sister. Beautiful names. I don't know where she is. Let's dump some shit in here quick. Before we carry on. Uh, let's store it all. Store it all. Store it all. Store it all. Lovely. Let's give us a nice bunch of space. Uh, this Is that Elsa? I don't think it is. Here's it might be. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Not far from here, there's a research facility. Codename Barry Finkian. Top secret military stuff. Even more so than the others on Esterton. Mm -hmm. That should have been my target. Oh, okay. Locate the gate to the restricted area. Well, let's be honest. We all know where that is. There. But from what Veronica found out, it seems Boa suddenly decommissioned the whole thing back in the 70s. I guess the politicians didn't want the public to find out that Sweden was developing weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Why can't I crouch? Haven, you insist, we... No! Anita? What's going on? Anita? No! My game is broken. No, it's Goddamn game! Just... There we go. All of this, it's like, uh, it's like they know. Right, so let's head out to that it's location. Moment. This is FOA4, which I was going to cover, um, as I said in the, at the end of my last video, we were going to come over to FOA4. But I went there, had a little look, and we can't actually get in there without unlocking this mission anyway. So, we're going to head over, see what we can find, and I will show you guys the Reaper. Which is a beastie ass tank, and I can't wait to use him properly. Uh, well, I can't wait to fight him properly. It's going to be absolutely amazing. What have we got we can dump for today? Store all of you. 75. We got a nice chunk, so yeah, we can keep moving on. We're probably going to end up running into a lot of machines as we come out of this building anyway. Uh, at the moment as well, I'm only focusing on main missions. So we're going to do all the main missions and then move on to Phoenix Rising. And do all the main missions there. Obviously, Second Extinction is, at the moment, taking up a lot of my time. I'm not going to stop doing this, don't worry. And a few of you have been asking about level 2 schematics, which I am working on grabbing all of them now. Uh, so I will have a video up midweek for that. Yeah, man. Oh, after playing Second Extinction as well, you move, you, the movement on this just feels so slow. It's, it's mad. It really is mad. And you can't compare the two games. They're, they are two completely different styles and um but oh i'm in love with that game at the moment I, i've literally jumped on this to to just record the video and, and that's it obviously getting all the level two schematics as well i'm hoping to find all the level threes as well but i don't know if they're locked behind well not locked but whether they're just from machines or not or whether you can actually find them so I'm working on that. I know we can get up to level 5, but the 5s come from uh, enemies, which is a bit of a bore lake. Obviously that makes it a bit harder to find them all. <clears throat> right, so... So FOA4 is just fucking insane. It's such a cool space. I love it. It's definitely one of my favourite places on Himfo. And I have already done a, a video on the Reaper. Um, which I will link in the description below so you can check that out. Oh, nice. 
So much loot, man. This is such a loot rich area as well. Obviously, at the moment as well, with uh, some of the hotfix issues and, and PlayStation issues, I'm not going to go into that on, on the video because, well, there's no point. I've covered it already in in uh, the newsletters from the devs, and I've gone over my thoughts on that. But um, I'm hoping that that should be fixed up soon. Soon enough that we can have either a Halloween event or possibly just some, some new content coming before Christmas. I mean, that would be really nice. I'd like to see something new. Some new stuff that we can search, some new stuff we can do. Oh, that was pointless, wasn't it? How bloody rude! <clears throat> so much to search. I, I fucking love this area, man. Just out of curiosity as well, do people mind the swearing? Because I swear a lot, and I, I, I did at first try and keep it quiet. Now it's starting to slip through a little bit more. So, let me know if people don't mind it. If people do mind it, I won't do it. I, I just, I, I'm terrible for it. I swear a lot, just in general. I don't know why. It's not big and it's not clever, children. Don't swear. I'm doing the live stream with, um, systemic reaction was, was very difficult. Try not to swear. It was definitely a hard one. <laughs> right, where's this key card? Ah, there it is. It's all made up. Veronica. Veronica Nilsson, computer engineer, in other words, major nerd. She worked at FOA 53, um. the research lab where the um, accident happened. Oh, here we go. This is uh, this is where the fun begins. Oh, we got no ammo for that. Really? We've only got armor piercing. Okay, never mind. Right, so. I'm just going to have to use that for now. Search the living quarters. So we're going to search this, do the mission, and then we'll check out the, um, the Reaper. And then we'll call it a day. Oh, let's see if there's any good stuff in here. Oh, nice, another LMG. We'll take you. Don't know if that's a good one or not, but we'll have it anyway. Oh, I love this bunker. So many good little bits in here. It's great for looting and um, all sorts of stuff. What's that? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, oh, we can't sprint. We've got too much stuff on us, I think. So right, we'll dump some stuff in just a sec. Let's do that now, quick, before we carry on. Uh, what have we got that we can dump? Drop you, drop you, drop you. Nice, we're getting a nice old chunk of five star stuff now. Um, really? Two star. Peasant. Peasant, son. I don't want the peasant two-star stuff. Alright, cool. Let's go. I'm going to try not to search. If I'm in the room, then, uh, then we'll have a little bit of a look. Aha, we found something. We found a key card. Locate the warboard room. Oh, we know where that is. That's cool.
Right, Anita. Oh, look at it. There it is. That is the Reaper at the back of the room there. Uh, let's deal with all these guys first. It's a good job the guys in here aren't actually Apocalypse class, because otherwise that would make it really difficult to actually find them. So as we run down here, all the lights turn on. And then when you get down here, even better. The big lights, come on. Boom. And that is the Reaper. Almost every part on this machine is armoured. It looks absolutely insane. Now, I can't wait till we use this. On my full video, we, we go a bit more in detail. Um, Tenebrous as well has got a video on there, which is has got a little bit of detail in that as about the Reaper. Uh, he's done a more recent one, so check out his channel for that one. Alright, let's go find this warboard, do the missions. I think we're just going to have to go straight back to the hotel after this one. I always forget about all of this bit in here. I never really bother. Are we going? The yeah, we are going the right way. Cool. Right, let's. Is this the war? Yeah, here we are. This is where we wanted to be. Investigate the computer in the warboard room. Oh, oh, oh! What's going on? What's going on over there? Ah! Hello? Oh my God! Did you do Escape the toxic gas. It's because we've gassed the shit out of the place. The Phoenix know everything. Defeat all activated machines in the central station. Boom, got him. Is it just those three? Right, that's that bit done. One combat. We've defeated the machines. Why isn't the mission? There we go, cool. Right, new mission. Prepare for the enemy's intimate attack on Bjorn. Oh, Ghosts of the Past. Um, oh, okay, so this might be... If this is the mission I'm thinking it is, we're just going to board everything up, but we're not going to do the mission. We'll save that for for the next video, because it's, um, it's quite a fun, fun little bit. Right, let's speak to her then. I'm sorry. Hello, Anita. Blacking out like that. It's just um... okay. Uh, one thing at a time. We should make this place safer. Barricade all windows. Reinforce the doors. They won't hold forever, but the hotel will be easier to defend with fewer choke points to cover. What do we need? Planks and shit. Get the materials near the ski uh, shop. How about skis? That's one thing you don't need to ration around here. Where is the ski shop? I think it's just sending me upstairs. Oh yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Simple. You pretty much just build loads of barricades. I mean, something like this is really cool. I like this. I wish they'd do a bit more with the building and the barricades. And crafting. I mean, hopefully, obviously, as I said earlier on, once that hot fix is done, I think that will pave the way for more things like that. But we'll see, really. It is just a waiting game. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We've got some tools. Where's the. He just jumped out the window. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. See you later, little one. It was nice to see you. Right, four, five, six. 
Um, where's number eight then? I think eight's outside. Aha, here it is. Lovely. Right, so now we're going to barricade the hotel's windows. You know that thing your brain does in tragic situations, like after your mother dies? Every time. For me, that would be the day I graduated flight school. Oh, nice. How the fuck am I meant to barricade that big old window? That's a big one. No, 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 jump, jump, jump. There we go. Best gig we ever did. The crowd was doing most of the singing for me. My brother Lusa and I weren't fighting as much back then. Now raise barricades. My good old red V lift four forty five. And uh taking care of mom and dad. Boom. Right, so there's how many more have we gotta do? Oh we've gotta do some around that side. I can't remember him ever actually being on that side. Oh hello. And good night. Where's... Uh, put the final touches on the barricades. Which barricades? Which ones are we putting final touches on? I think the ones around there, if I remember rightly. The final touches are beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like a giant F U to the uh, the Phoenix. Stick some heads on it. Mission complete. So now what we'll have to do is go start the next mission downstairs. Uh, we are not going to do that just yet. We're going to go up here quick. We'll deal with the um, the harvester that's up here if he's there. Get ourselves um, some some bits and bobs. I don't know if we got any rivals. To be fair, yeah, we have. We got one there. Let's do, let's go take that rival out. We'll do that. We've got a nice collection of side missions going on, so we can use we can use all them up once we've done the um, the Phoenix Rising main missions. I think I'll just do a load of side missions, smash them all out once. I have a friend that's just bought the game as well, so I'm waiting for him to. To level up a little bit. Once he's got to a decent level, we're going to go rival hunting. Get him a load of experimental weapons. Which will be quite cool. I'm looking forward to that. I could do with some experimental weapons as well, to be honest. I'm hoping this guy's got one. Oh, he's only a hunter. That's a bit terrible. Don't like that. <clears throat> Come on, jump, man, jump. There we go. At least we've got armor piercing on everything. We're going smash, smash, smash. Oh, this is a mission here as well that we've not done yet. Oh shit, son. What was that? Real good thing about this place is all the little buildings. Works out really, really well for cover. I 
Oh, we got the Church of Crazy. Where's he gone? Hey, come back. What are you doing? Oh, is he in the barn? Please tell me he's got himself stuck. Oh no, he hasn't. There he is. Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we got him, we got him. What's he got? What's he got? Give me some stuff. Ah! Uh, level 3 fireproof pants. So, ah, uh, I suppose better than nothing. Uh, we are in the, the commune. Mission complete, the secluded. Cool. There's one more down. We're almost at level 31 as well. Which is good. That's what we need, really. We want to get to the uh, top level, and then we can start distributing some of those points that we've got. It's really weird. I mean, going off the last video as well, where I was showing some of the stranger locations, they're using runner heads as lights in here, which is really... It's very strange. This whole game is a bit weird. Some of the stuff that they, that these people have, doing, have done is, is very strange. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's also really weird. I mean, this just looks like some sort of weird cult, and they've uh, they've all drank some dodgy juice and said night to each other. Uh, runners just showed up outside, I think. Or is it a hunter? Oh, it's a hunter. Good night, sir. Oh, you cheeky devil, you. Have you got nothing good? Is it a group or is it just the two of you today? It looks to me like it's just the two of you. Oh. Good night, bitches! Oh no, there's more. Hello. Fancy seeing you in. Seems like there's a lot. I don't know where the uh, where the other hunters shooting from. Let's get rid of the seeker, then we'll climb up the tower quick. Let's just shoot the view from the top of the tower, and then we'll call it a day. I think. Nothing can get you on the top of the tower, so it's quite fun. You just sit up there, hide away. It's lovely. In the the hunters try their hardest, but I mean, sometimes they do hit you. It's very rare. It's normally the um, the clusters that get you. But because it's got a, a roof on it, occasionally they they attempt it and completely miss, which is quite helpful. The secluded portable sec cassette player. See, they don't know what to do now. They're all just randomly shooting because they can't get me. Beautiful. So, we're going to leave that one there, guys. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we will see you again very soon with some more Generation Zero. Peace.